Uh, again, this is a strange hill to die on. Tweet from the Rolling Stone. Review. Sound of Freedom. The Q. And on Tin's Thriller about child. Trafficking is designed to appeal to the conscience of a conspiracy addled boomer. Sound of Freedom is a superhero movie for dads with brain worms. Okay. So, uh, I'll be straight up, I haven't seen this movie yet, but for some reason it's getting a hell of a lot of attention, so I looked into it, and it's a movie, as I say, about the trafficking of children. Uh, It is based on a true story. As with most Hollywood films or movies, they take liberty with the story and they fill them out a bit, they make them a little bit, you know, pleasing to the eye, That might be a bad turn of phrase to use for a movie about such a thing, but you know what I mean. They do certain things to sort of spice it up a little bit, expand it out and all that that gear. Well, the corporate media and leftists are very, very upset that this movie is doing really well. It outsold tickets, even though it's in less theatres than Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Uh, Again, I haven't seen that either. I was asked if I wanted to go see it this week, and I said no. Uh, And it's made a hell of a lot of money, especially over the July 4th weekend. I know we're a little bit further down the track, but people are really upset about it. When I say people, I mean the leftist cult and their mouthpieces in the corporate media. So let's just go back now to the Rolling Stone. Compared to this nonsense, Sound of Freedom is relatively grounded in our universe, but the mainstream accessibility makes it valuable as a recruitment tool. Much as generic Save the Children campaigns proved gateways to the far-right conspiracy theories about secret cabal of evil elites conducting blood rituals, on the QAnon message board Great Awakening this week, Adherents celebrated the movie's box office success. It was quickly made its budget back, uh, which was around $14 million, and it out-earned Indiana Jones, which is what I just said. Uh, as implausible as the movie is, it invents a finale where Ballard journeys deep into a jungle alone to pluck a girl from the clutches of guerrilla militants, which he accomplishes by posing as a doctor distributing cholera vaccines. One wonders if it was if it was extreme enough for Caviezel's liking. The actor has taken repeatedly to the uh, excuse me. The actor has taken to repeating the most grotesque falsehoods of sprawling QAnon ideology. Among them, that traffickers are harvesting children's organs and extracting the chemical compounds adrenochrome or adrenochrome from their brains before murdering them. So what? It's just a movie. Why would they be so upset about this? Well, the Rolling Stone aren't the only ones who are are upset about this. There were a few more. Rolling Stone, the Washington Post. Well, they praised the the pro-pedo movie Cuties, attacked the anti-child sex trafficking movie Sound of Freedom. The Washington Post and the Rolling Stone both came out criticising the anti-child sex sex trafficking film Sound of Freedom after its release both also praised another movie Cuties which depicts twerking uh, a twerking dance crew made up of little girls I've cancelled my Netflix subscription ever since they brought that out I will not go back to them Uh, the articles that both Washington Post and the Rolling Stone released about Sound of Freedom accuses the film of being associated with QAnon conspiracy theories the film is based on the portion of Tim Ballard's life and the beginnings of him forming the organisation Operation Underground Railroad. Rolling Stone said that uh, actor Jim Confiezel, who depicts Ballard in the film, has given speeches and interviews about evildoers who are harvesting the blood of children. The Post pointed out that the film has been promoted on QAnon message boards and plays into the theory that global elites, uh, you know, and I said all that. Uh, Ballard and Caviezel recently went on an interview with Jordan Peterson. Ballard also addressed this and explained that blood and organ harvesting is very real. He has posted a video showing a raid where this occurred in Western Africa. He continued and said, so I might say something like that and then they connected to something a QAnon person says 
about a celebrity who must be doing this too, but there's no evidence to back that. They make this false connection there. Other reports detail the practice, uh, so on and so on. So there's another reason why they get very upset uh, about this film, and I'm just going to show you an opening portion of the trailer for it, and I'll point out exactly where they get upset. How many pedophiles you got? 288. How many kids you found? fastest growing international crime network that the world has ever seen it has already passed the illegal arms trade and soon it's going to pass the drug trade because you can sell a bag of cocaine one time the child five to ten times a day god's children are not for sale there it is that's why they're upset that one line right there god's children are not for sale because Caviezel, I'm pretty sure, is a devout Catholic or a Christian, one of the two. I'm sorry, I didn't research it that heavily. But um, he's very pro-Christianity. I'll just put it that way. He's pro-Jesus. You can't have that. Not when they've got uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny out, where we've all got to be there uh, genuflecting at the knees of Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who apparently is the best thing ever. Let's just go back and uh, check out some of the things they said about cuties, by the way. I don't recommend you looking into or even watching cuties. Disgusting. Cuties is an unflinching look at what it means to be a preteen girl. No matter, uh, no wonder people can't handle it. Yeah, whatever. How cuties is fueling far-right obsession with pedophilia. Far-right obsession with pedophilia. Uh, there was another uh, rag that was very upset about a movie condemning the trafficking of children. That would be The Guardian, Sound of Freedom, the QAnon-adjacent thriller seducing America. And this is what they had to say about Cuties. Cuties Review, Netflix controversial child exploitation is, it's a, a film is a bold, flawed and misunderstood. So watching little girls provocatively dance in front of adult men with camera angles going disgustingly close to their crutch and all that sort of gear. That's uh, misunderstood, is it? I never forget I had an uh, I had an argument with a friend of mine who I don't actually speak to anymore. And I was talking to her about the film Cuties and I said, uh you can do all of this without actually having to show it. Like it's if you make a film about preteen drinking and actually giving the actors alcohol, you just wouldn't do it. And that's what they were doing. Like the, the, the director of that film came out and saying, we're trying to show you how bad it is to uh, sexually exploit young girls. It's like, well, you don't need to do it. Unbelievable. Uh, as I said, I just, so here's the other thing that they're very upset about. Sound of Freedom is a smashing success projected to earn over 40 million in the opening week. Angel Studios announced on Sunday that it's smash hit movie Sound of Freedom is projected to earn 18 million in its opening weekend and claim the number three spot Estimates are additionally predicting an even more massive $40 million at the box office in the opening week. The film has also received an A-plus cinema score, a 76 uh, fresh score, and a 99% uh, score on Rotten Tomatoes. In a press release, head of theatrical distribution at Angel Studio, Brandon Perdue, Perdue or whatever, said... Uh, as with our July 4th numbers, today's numbers exceed our expectations and we're going to continue this momentum. Sound of Freedom has taken on a life of its own. Early this week, Sound of Freedom whipped Disney's Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny at the box office grossing over $14 million on its release day, whereas the latter only took in $11.5 million on its uh, June 30 opening day. And might I add as well that uh, Indiana Jones was in nearly 2,000 more cinemas than Sound of Freedom. 
We're getting messages from all over the country telling us about packed theatres, sold out theatres and spontaneous standing ovations for the film in numerous locations. Old Mate explained, seeing this film has become a must thanks to the incredible word of mouth. Uh, again, he said, uh, we're deeply grateful to AMC, Cinemark, Regal and all of our other theatre partners and their hardworking theatre staff members for working with us to accommodate the surging demand for this film and having the courage to release Sound of Freedom during the busiest movie season of the year. Sound of Freedom tells a story which we've gone through. It is based on a true story about Ballard's organisation, Operation Underground Railroad, and a real mission where his team saved 55 children and 123 people in total. And that's what they would... That's like they're trying to attack this movie saying that it's um, it's all bollocks, that it doesn't really happen, but it's based on a true story. And like I said, when you get these films, they've sort of got to, you know, they've got to expand a little bit. So obviously it's not 100% accurate. From what I've been told, because again, I haven't seen the film, there's actual footage from surveillance and all that sort of gear within the movie. I would love to watch it, but I've checked... Uh, my local cinema, they're not playing it. I just went and checked uh, where I can watch it on my own TV. They don't have it, even though it was one of the first things to come up in the search bar, which is very interesting. How do I... And I, I, I want to pay for it. I want to give this studio the money. I, I'm not one of those people who likes downloading illegally. Left-wing media organisations have attempted to discredit the hit movie with a Jezebel reporter calling it an anti and anti-child trafficking fantasy fit for QAnon. In a recent interview, Jordan Peace and, uh, and Ballard discussed the topic. Uh, it's very real. There's witch doctory. They take these children. They take their organs. They take their blood. They drink it. They take the genitalia of children. These are real things. Oh, man, like, I hope that's not true, but I'm guessing it is. Well, I'm not guessing. Sadly, it is, is what I mean. Uh, and I read that quote before. Angel Studios is an organization funded by angel investors who decided which titles will be created. Ugh, I don't care. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So the other interesting thing was is that this movie apparently got uh, made and was ready to release back in 2018. Disney themselves also had access and could have released this movie. And could have made a lot of money, but no. You wanted to lose money on Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. And you wanted to lose money on all your failing Marvel projects as well. They also got very upset, they being the leftist cult, when Dana White said this. Hey everybody, I'm Dana White. There's a new movie out called The Sound of Freedom. And it's about human trafficking. More importantly, the trafficking of children. This is a disgusting, horrific issue that's happening all around the world, and it's not getting better, it's getting worse. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give any of my UFC employees that want to see this movie free tickets to go see, and I would like to encourage other executives to do the same at their company. Here's Mel Gibson with some more information on The Sound of Freedom. One of the most disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking, and particularly the trafficking of children. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. Yes, and that's what this movie is. Oh, but no, it's QAnon conspiracy theories, right, leftist cult? Go see Sound of Freedom. I mean, they've, they've always got a very several, you know, they've, they've obviously got a, a great distaste for Mel Gibson because of, past indiscretions, which I don't condone. I love this tweet from uh, Luke Radowski as well. Sound of Freedom is QAnon paranoia, the Guardian car. What did he say? I don't know, something about grooming kids. And I think I'll, I'll cap this off with something that Gina Carano posted, and I think it fits to a T. You know who doesn't like movies exposing pedophiles and human trafficking? Pedophiles and human traffickers. Spot on, Gina. I don't know if you came up with that yourself, but 100% spot on. Why would they be so upset about this movie? Oh, we know why. 
Can we see the Epstein list? Just a reminder as well, there are more slaves today in the world than at any point in human history. And the subject matter that this film is tackling is one of the biggest ones. And places like Rolling Stone, The Guardian, The Washington Post, CNN, and uh, the leftist cult are very angry about a movie raising awareness about this. For some reason, they don't want you to see it and they want it swept under the rug. Really makes you think, doesn't it? All right, mate, thanks very much for checking out the channel and this video. If you want to help me out, do hit subscribe. If you don't have time to watch, I do have audio-only versions of these episodes on Spotify and Apple. Just search at the Brian Madigan, and I'm on all those platforms there. Are we done? Yeah, we're done.